Howdy, uh, my name is Ashley Reeser, um, and I'm gonna. My leader is Tim Duncan. So I'm from San Antonio, and obviously Tim Duncan is the god to all of us. Um, just the way he carries himself, the way he carries himself after he got done playing, um, the way he talks about the league and about the uh, about the Spurs is just inspirational. And playing th sports like I have the last 15 years or so, I always modeled myself to be like Tim Duncan. Um, so. I'll give you like a little background on him. His real name is Timothy Theodore Duncan. He was born April 25th, 1976 in St. Croix in the Virgin Islands. Um, he spent his entire 19 year career with the Spurs. And obviously the Spurs, we don't have any other professional team besides the soccer team. Um, so when Tim Duncan decided to stop playing, it was a really hard day for all of us. Um, the crazy thing is, is he wanted to be an Olympic swimmer. He didn't want to play basketball. That really wasn't in his in his uh, idea of what he wanted to do. His sister was a really good swimmer, and so he wanted to join her. Um, and he wanted to be able to participate in the 1992 Olympics. So the crazy thing was Hurricane Hugo in 1989 actually destroyed the Olympic pool that he was training at for the Olympics. And so instead of him training in a pool because it was gone, he had to uh, train in the ocean. And he is deathly afraid of sharks. And so that was really hard for him to overcome that fear. Um, and he just, he had a lot of, he was really close with his family. His mom actually died of breast cancer, but the one thing he promised her was that he was going to finish his college degree, which he attended Wake Forest from 1993 to 1997, um, was a standout at Wake Forest, but he promised his mom that he would um, finish out his college degree, which made him not want to leave. And that's one example, a small example of being a good leader because he kept his word to someone that he really cared about. And when you're leading, you want to have the respect of people that care about you and that you care about. And so that was a really big deal for him to um, to keep his word to his mom. And then she ended up passing because of breast cancer, like I said. Um, the type of leader he was, was he was a quiet leader. He, um, he, you know, he was a big guy, but he didn't really have a whole lot to say. But when he was on the court, you could tell that everyone looked up to him. Leaders are often criticized for their accomplishments or in basketball, their wins to um, losses. When he was with the Spurs, the Spurs won 155 more games than any other NBA team. And with him, he wasn't a big numbers guy. He didn't care about you know, his stats. He didn't care about um, his personal accomplishments. He just wanted the Spurs to win. Um, he's only the third player to score 25,000 points and have 15,000 rebounds. And you would never know, like I said, because he's super humble. And I think that's a great thing that leaders need to be is they need to be very humble. They can't be cocky because then they lose respect from people around them. Um, he didn't really care what people had to say about him, which is another great trait. You know, he would show up in George Timberlands and an old Navy t-shirt and people would constantly criticize him for what he was wearing, but he didn't care. He was there to play basketball. He wasn't there to have a fashion show. This, the player nowadays are real big about what they're wearing and who what designers they're wearing and Tim didn't care about that stuff he was there to play basketball and to lead his team to many championships which he did um, he was very classy he was um, not he was never in the, in the media for bad things he was always in the media for doing something good or even just maybe he spoke that week so he was in the media for that um, he knew how to lead all different types of people. He knew how to lead the hotheads to pop and everyone knows that pop is really hard to deal with when it comes to the media and so Tim was really good at helping him um, get through the media interviews. Um, he would make people around him better. He would constantly be lifting people up. Um, he was really good at um, giving the ball to other people. If he was down low and saw an open person, he gave him the ball. He didn't care about his stats, like I said. Um, he was quiet. He was really... Um, he was pretty much the guy that you walked in, you knew how to get the job done, but people had so much respect for him for the way he carried himself. Um, and as a leader through sports, I always wanted to be that way. I wanted to carry myself. The people would respect me and I would get come in and I'd get the job done. He is someone that I looked up to in sports. He was a great he was great in the community. I know I saw him multiple times in the community and just eating dinner and he was really really nice and always wanted to help other people and he would wouldn't wouldn't care about autographs he would do it um he knew that was kind of the the thing that he would have to do um but he is just an all-around great leader he did everything he needed to do and honestly 
he is the perfect leader in my opinion because he is loved by so many and he would come in he'd get his job done he he like I said he got the Spurs of multiple championships he was just really good at what he did and even to this day he's not a part of the Spurs but everyone associates Tim Duncan with the Spurs and so I'm really thankful to grow up in a city that had a great leader like that and I'm very thankful for Tim Duncan because he shaped me into the leader I am today.